You know who, playing gigs when we can, trying to impress our fans. Older sister goes berserk, her temper is her biggest cook. I got a plan that might just work now. You, me, and Khan meet our fiery death during a chilly cook-off gone wrong, Cory won't have a band to play with. So in the event of that happening, I created this! The One Man Band Pack! One tug of the string, and all you gotta do is sing! So, you plan for our deaths? Cool, huh? It even plays speed metal! Might need some minor adjustments. Cancel your plans. I entered us in the Peaceville School System's annual Battle of the Bands. Peaceville's band battles are never straight-up music fights. What kind of competition is it this year? Greco-Roman checkers? Quilt to the death? Chili cook-off? Even better, extreme curling. Yeah! The ramps! The speed! <laughs> the high risk of injury! War! Extreme curling is so dangerous. I say we take a vote. All in favor of entering the extreme curling battle and dying before we learn to drive? Ugh, why do I keep calling these votes? I don't know, Lanes, but I'll file a protest in your name. Let's go! Gotta be alive to drive! Ow! Mina, stop feeling pain! I need to get better at this. Do you know how embarrassing it was getting cut from the scarf knitting team? I don't know why it started on fire, it just did. Am I team captain or what? Ugh! Try. Who cares about school and doing things and stuff? <laughs> Nick Mallory does. He just bleated congrats to the scarfing team. Nick bleats that fourth place is almost close to nearly winning. Keep that school spirit coming. Nick loves school spirit? This is my in. If Nick loves school spirit, then I love faking loving it. What's the next spirit thingy? Today, extreme curling. Perfect. I look ultra cute when I'm curling. This is going to be awesome. Any idea who we're playing? Nope. It's more dramatic to find out when it's too late to back out. I hope it's the winners from Champion High. They always lose. <laughs> not sorry to disappoint you, gross Ben. But you're not playing winners. You're playing us. The Newmans? Our worst enemies and fiercest rivals? Ready to lose again? Corey. I'm never ready when I lose. And beating me at curling is going to be a lot harder than beating me at pinball. Man, we have got to work on his trash talk. Nick says popcorn is the perfect snack to fuel up his school spirit. Hi, Nick! Look how good I am at curling because you like it! Totally cute and spirity, right? Why isn't Nick watching me spirit curl? I thought he loved this junk! I think Nick came here for the curling game. Curling game?! Someone thinks she can outcurl me?! Nick, watch me curl! Sports fans, welcome to the Battle of the Bands Extreme Curling Edition! Please give a loud, this is our house, boo, to our visitors, the Newmans. And your home team, Garage Band. Now the rules. Members from each team will mount their stones connected to their musical instrument. Contestants will then fly down their ramps at high speed before soaring majestically through the air and over the house to engage in a physical battle joust with supremacy? That's terrifying. The team with the most rocks closest to center wins the game and the right to rock out before their peers. This is insane. A good mayor would ban this. Have fun. Cool. Gals, I am not built for this. And I didn't bring my inhaler. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is kind of smashy. I'm actually hoping Trina will monkey wrench this plan. No dice, Lanes. When we wear these helmets, she won't even know it's us. Besides, I think she's a bit preoccupied. Nick, look! Nick, look! Nick, look! Nick, look! Um, Trina? It looks like this! It looks like this! Nick, look! Nick says sorry, but Nick's excited to get his school spirit to Max Pep and doesn't want to miss anything. I can raise your spirit! Watch me curl my hair again! Adorbs, right? Come on, team! Show your stuff! Our school spirit's not high enough! enough! Yay! Nick says cheerleaders are the best thing for spirit after winning. Mina! A cheerleader? Um... I don't know why the gymnasium started on fire. It just did. So my team captain...
captain or what? If cheering for our team will raise Nick's spirit, then I'll be the team captain of doing that! Great idea, Trina, but that means you'll be cheering for your brother. Other words are not needed! Okay, Kim, you're first. I've programmed my keyboard to play new wave synth tones. I'll surf the sound waves and drown Kim in my wake. Easy. You sure about that? She looks mad. On your mark, get set! This is terrible! Don't worry, Lanes. We're only down one, and Khan will totally beat Connie. I mean, nobody can out drum Khan. Nick says we're losing. Nick says... <sighs> Nick, Nick, have no fear. Your personal cheerleader's here. You asked for spirit. Yes, you did. Here's a spirit pyramid. Look how much spirit I have. <laughs> Mira, I'm trying to be spirity. Nick's pyramid is broken. Nick's team is losing. Nick's starting not to believe in nothing no more. <gasps> Whoever they are doesn't win! Actually, our team includes Cole. Enough! Can't you see my spirit is too low to listen to you right now? Raise it for me! Trina, Trina, rhymes with Mina! Come on, Trina, you can do it! You're like... brutal. Brutal dance transition! I know you're scared, Lanes, but... That was before! We need this! I'm gonna end Larry! comes down to a final joust to determine our champion. Who wins the right to rock the house? Paramedics are standing by. There's no way I'm gonna lose to Carrie. Um, Cor, we don't even have lyrics if you do win. We'll be booed out of here by our own school. We got a point. Nick has a smile. Lay down, Mina. Let's do pile. Do it, Mina! Uh Nick says, school spirit's fun. I'm making Nick happy! Go, whoever our team is! Trina doesn't know she's cheering for us. All we have to do is win, then pop our helmets off. She'll go diary for sure. This one's gonna be candy. No one out solos me. It's battle of the bands, not battle of the solos. The singer is the front man, but the band propels him. Kin? Yes, sir! One man band me. Let's rock. I can't believe your mother's let you do this, but... There's the spirit. Nick is at full spirit! I'm so happy! This year's winner is Garage Band! Yeah, that's Harper! Wait, what? I tried to tell you, you're cheering for your brother! Thanks for the cheer, sis. Couldn't have done it without you. I see. Trina needs to chill out, and Nick is cool enough to help. If there's a big old heap, we're on top of it! Wow, this hill is really steep, and we're the summit! You tried to stop us with that trash you've been talking, but you 
can't bring us down Cause now this house is rocking Sorry to rattle you girls, but extreme curling is our world. I'm a boy! Close it, Larry! Sigh. Guys, it's wicked that we rocked that place, but I'm pretty sore. Totally! Is my arm supposed to have four elbows? And that's why we're done with sports. Sure, sports gives you extra elbows and a strong spirit, which comes in handy fighting your way to the front of the buffet line, but honestly, Sports mainly just hurt really, really bad. And that's not good. Right, guys? Uh. Thanks for coming out, everyone. A hundred years ago, music was recorded on these crazy wax cylinders. Music on wax? Oh, they had so many new ideas in the past. We could use it to record our gig today. A hundred-year-old song on a hundred-year-old candle. Well, the cylinder is new. I made it today. Out of hundred-year-old candles. Hey, guys, I found some old photos of great-grandpappy Riffin. Story time! <laughs> This is Silas Riffin. He wrote the original Peaceville Anthem 100 years ago today. I was expecting an old-timey mustache. Hey, it's our great-granddad's Flynn Flan. They look even more alike than we do. Still no mustaches, though. This must have been taken when they buried the Peaceville time capsule. I hope those suspenders are inside when Marimella opens it today. There's the mustache. Yeah, that's my great-grandma Janie. She was in the circus. Anyway, it's gonna be awesome to rock that anthem a hundred years after Great Grandpappy Riffin wrote it. Go play in a hole, Corey. We only need one Riffin today. Me! Nick Mallory and I are reenacting the town founding hug, and I don't want it spoiled with garage noise. A hug may have started Peaceville, but the next hundred years will be built on a foundation of rock! History. Don't you have the same family history? Mina! Ew! Wicked cool transition! Happy 100th birthday, Peaceville! You don't look a day over 99! We're gonna open your present, sing you a song, and then bring back the embrace that started the place. I'm Buzz Newsworthy. And I'm Chance Happening. What's all this about a hug, you ask? Trina Riffin and Nick Mallory are descendants of the Silas Riffin and Brick Mallory who created Peaceville with a hug. Pre-hug thoughts, hunky Nick Mallory? Nick Mallory's hugs are legendary, but today, they're historic. Anything you want to say about hugging hunky Nick Mallory? <laughs> okay, Peace Billions, time to pop the top and let the anthem be dropped. Maybe there's gold inside, too. <coughs> nope, just the anthem. Yuck, reading. Squally cow, Trina! This anthem totally harshes on the Riffins and the Mallories. They nearly destroyed Peaceville with a feud and had to hug to make it stop. Why did you tear off the bottom? Because that's the part where they hug and apologize to each other. Isn't that a good thing? Ugh, Mina. Like, so ugh. Corey starts a wicked feud. Both, like, hurt each other in junk. Then my hug with Nick fixes everything. Love win. Cool idea, Trina. But won't the town be, like, totally, really destroyed? It'll be worth it. There's probably a saying that says so. And now to sing the anthem is great grandpappy wrote, Corey Riffin. Um, where are the lyrics? Right here, Corey. <laughs> Why did Trina just encourage you? Ah, uh, there's plenty of time to worry about that later. Happy birthday, Peaceville! Peaceville, Peaceville, the town that tops them all. Your future is a shiny one, your past was just a brawl. Brick Mallory's whole family's the lamest one in town. But the lyrics for this anthem are the ones that Brick wrote down. Us Riffins were exposed as frauds and a battle soon ensued. And we all accused, abused, and bruised each other in a feud? The Mallory's were lame? I'm shocked! The Riffins were lyric thieves? I'm shocked. 
I guess Thiever's gonna thieve. And Lamer's got a lame. Curse those Riffin! Curse those Mallory's! Why are we fighting? You saw the flashback. It's family tradition. <laughs> Don't worry. Nick and Trina will hug and everything will be fixed. Folks like a nice historic hug. Congrats, Trina! The feud is so on! And now to make future history by hugging Nick and bringing the town together with the love display! <laughs> If Nick's family history is one of huge lameness, then Nick's cool with being lame. Your reality just broke, didn't it? You're not gonna hug lame Nick Mallory, are you? Okay, so that's a problem. But only a few people were here to hear that anthem. No big deal. This just in. Old Peaceville Anthem tells a story of a brawlin' and a thieving, And we carried it live. Will history repeat itself? Tearing the town apart as the old Mallory Riffin feud reignites. This is the Mallory's only team out! Yeah! Ah! The Riffins just aren't very nice, boys. So impolite. I'll end you, Mallorite! <laughs> 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 Dogs may have had a standing conflict of their own. They're too smart to be mad about lyric theft. Spoken like a true Riffin lover. Fist just in! <laughs> Buzz down. Fine, it's a big deal, but it isn't a huge deal. <laughs> this wall will keep you thieves out. Oh, yeah? What are we going to steal from you? The lame Mallory walk? <laughs> in West Peaceville, please! We can't just divide our town unless you both got mayors and I am that multitasking man! I'll make sure both Peacevilles are the best Peaceville! Okay, so it's a huge deal, but not too huge to fix with a new anthem about unity. Just need lyrics. And you're just the riffin' to steal them? Exactly! All we have to do is get Trina to hug Nick. One diary moment later, and we've got huggy wuggy <laughs> calm you down lyrics. But Trina doesn't seem like she wants to hug Nick. She doesn't seem like she wants to do anything. What's up with Trina? She just kind of shut down when Nick Mallory became lame. Do we have time for me to panic and run around shouting it's all over? No! Fine. Let's go with plan B. A clever solution. Wicked cool transition! Hey, Nick, any chance you might want to stop eating raw onions, quit being lame, and be huggably cool again? Sorry, Riffin. Nick digs tradition. Feud on. There's no way Trina's gonna hug Nick if he's lame, no matter how cool he makes it look. Yeah, she probably thinks it's, like, ultra forbidden and junk or whatever. Ugh. Solid Trina impression, Lanes. An extra solid idea giving. Plan double B. I hope you like the color. And also, talk again. I'm scared. Trina, you gotta hug Nick. Nick's lame. Up has become down. Left has become Wednesday. Trina, you're the coolest. Ugh, that almost made me puke. And Nick is lame. Your love is uncool. So against cool rules. Yeah, but cool on lame love is forbidden love, which makes it hashtag... Uber romantic. <laughs> Nick loves lame. And I love lame Nick! A Mallory hugging a Riffin? What would old Brick Mallory say? He'd say, it's Nice and all, but not nice enough to tear down this wall. <sighs> and done. A hundred years ago, the Riffins stole our anthem from the Mallory's. Now, the Riffins wrote a new anthem, and we want to give it back. Nick, will you sing a band aid onto the scraped elbow of our town? Nice move, Riffin. Nick loves writing the wrongs of history. Let's rock this town back together! 
peace filled, peace filled, we have you in our heart. Brothers, sisters, all of us have loved you from the start. The Mallory and Riffin clans have dropped their fists of rage, and we're moving all together now into a brand new age. No barriers will ever divide us, all together we stand. Peace Phil, we just want to tell you we all think you're grand. Oh, Peace Phil, Peace Phil, our hearts beat in our chest. There is no better place to live, boy, you are the best. Nick thinks the past is in the past, and the present is cool. Here saying happy 100th birthday, Peaceville. What she said. So, we good? Yeah, for sure. Let's never build a literal wall between us again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we did it, Cor. Did we, Lanes? I'm not so sure. I think love did it. And theft. And eating raw onions until you smell weird. You can steal peace from someone and keep it in your pocket and pass it off as your own. A hundred years later, the truth will come out, and you'll have to steal all over again to make it right. We can't take the blame for history, but we can take the credit for a re-gifted present. No, I meant we fixed everything. Oh, yeah, that was all us. Thanks for coming out, everyone!